Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Virginia. Did anybody last night watch a thing called the debate? Man, that was a big one. But as you saw on television last night, we had a big victory against a man that really is looking to destroy our country. He's the worst. He's the most corrupt, the most incompetent president in the history of our country. And we have to take it back from that party. That's an evil party, despite the fact that crooked Joe Biden spent the entire week at Camp David resting, working, studying. He studied very hard. He studied so hard that he didn't know what the hell he was doing. <laughs> he got the debate rules that he wanted. He got the date that he wanted. He got the network that he wanted with the moderates he wanted. No amount of rest or rigging could help him defend his atrocious record. It's not defensible. I don't care who you were. You could be the late, great Clarence Darrow. Has anyone ever heard of Clarence Darrow? He was known as quite a good debater. Not as good as your governor, but that's okay. Hello, governor. I can't miss this guy in the crowd. But his son's much better looking than him. Joe Biden's problem is not his age. It's not his anything, really. It's he's got no problem other than it's his competence. He's grossly incompetent. You know, they keep saying old. I know people that are much older than him that are doing unbelievable things, making a fortune. I knew a man that at 79, he was never a success, and he made a billion, billion and a half dollars from 79 to 92. And that's what it is. It's not his age. It's his competence.